you wave at the camera? Hi. Say hi, people. Hi, people. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Chad. I don't know if I can do that. Morning, Chad, Adler Farms. <laughs> Somebody was like, you're, you're beginning. It's like you don't want to be awake in the morning. Well, it depends on what time of the morning it is. But I do want to be awake. Of course I want to be awake. I'll well, hang out with you guys. First off, time and temp, 8 a.m., 43 degrees, April 15th. That's nuts. I'm over this. Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, it's a low of like 35 degrees. Move on, I'm ready to get my tan on. You know what makes me smile? You do. You do. You make me smile. She knows I'm coming with a treat now, look. But you have to put it down. You gotta put it down. I don't eat things out of your hand, Dad. Are you tricking? No, you got it. You got it, that's good. Robin, Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Or Ben Affleck. I'm Batman. The worst Batman ever. Smokey! Smokey! Hi, right, Sugar. Man. Y'all hungry? You know what makes your breath stink is those treats. Yeah. I'm glad they're good for you because they are PU. They are PU. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot something. I know, you're super confused. Hang on. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. Before I get my tan on, I might need to get my run on. Woo, son. Look out. Good morning. You're like the guy at work. Hey, you're like the guy at work nobody wants to see when they get to work. Sorry about you. I'm telling you, you're like part goat. <laughs> and yes, we're gonna put a, I'm not sure, we're getting more goats. Sorry, we're getting more. As if you're opposed. I think we're going to add another pallet right here. And we're going to kind of press this back. And anyway, there's going to be a feeder here. Like a trough thingy that they can eat out of. Instead of having to eat off the ground. Morning, boys. Water, water, water. Whoa. Look at that belly, sister friend. Look at that belly. Close enough. I want him to eat those. So let's make sure he sees them. Still loving that thing. I have got a blessing for those guys. And it's gonna blow y'all's mind what I'm getting ready to do with the beefy boys. You being sweet? Is you being sweet? Oh, loving on your buddies.
Hey. Anito Ego, thank you. Yep, before you eat it. Before you eat it. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Look at that big, beautiful egg. My big, beautiful girl. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. The original edible animal cracker. Let's be friends. Anybody want a hug? The serving size is 16 crackers. We're halfway there. Somebody doesn't want to share food. So we got to get these guys up on this landing. Don't fight with your brothers, huh? Don't fight with your brothers. They're sweet. They're sweet. They eat weeds that you poop on. Yep. There's more over there. You missed some. Hey, Batman, Robin's eating all your cookies while well, you're down there chewing on a dry leaf. Here you go, buddy. Hey. A cracker? You want a cracker? I can't reach this, so it's fair. That was an epic fail. So far, Batman and Robin one, Chad and Smokey zero. Actually, you're not really zero because you ate all the animal crackers. It's that time. All right, looking pretty white, looking pretty white. Looking pretty white. A little white. A little more red, a little more red. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I'll turn her loose on you. No, you don't need a turkey egg. Turkey eggs are expensive, lady. Plus, I got to risk death to get them. Hey, so this has ended up being a little genius idea. It's kind of like a... Oh, what do you call it? Daniel Arms did it with his baby goats. I know other people... His kids. I know other people have done it. But Smokey can't get through there. And these guys can, so it's turned out to be kind of priceless because Smokey really doesn't like going in there either because it's just too small. So it allows them to kind of go in there. Are you grooming him? What are you doing? Hey, don't do that. That's weird. Don't lick your brother. They can get in there and get relief from her. They can also get up there then get up on her doghouse. He built something so that the baby goats could get in and eat without having the pressure of... The mama goats so i know it's been done before da, 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 but i saw it on daniel arms Man, it had to be a year ago last kidding season i want to bring this out another section actually i may just turn this that's what i'm gonna do i'll unscrew that right there i'll find another way to support it and i'll make this a wall of pallets right here that they can go in and out of and get in their little cubby and not be bothered so morning now i really want those eggs but I'd rather you lay one. Are you sleeping? You're asleep. You're not laying an egg. You're asleep. I'll be back. I'm thinking on the fly here. I'm thinking as we go. But then I got an I got an idea. And then I still got big news. Big news. Biggest news of the channel. 2021 so far. Huge O news O.
I'm back. So it's been like an hour and 15 minutes. It's stuff all over me. So don't judge me yet. There you go. So that only has scratch in it, chicken scratch. And we're gonna get some duct tape to put over this. Right now we can do it like that and no rain will get in there. What I did was I made a way for the goats to get in or I'm sorry, they've always had a way to get in. And we had this beautiful, beautiful tartar gate resting over there against the fence. And I just didn't see a reason not to use it. And that's a 16 footer. And I'm sorry, it's a 12 footer, um, which you have to count the sections. One, two, three, they're four feet. So it's a 12 foot gate. I could mount it on the four by four post, but I'm not sure I'm going to. There's a really nice actual like resting spot. Like it's not going anywhere. But what I like is the chickens can still get in and out. I put this here before I put the gate there. The goats can come up here. They can chillax up here. They can get up there from this barrel. They got food over there in the corner. The chickens can still get in and out. The goats have access to their little blue barrel over there. Um, if anybody wants to collect eggs, Whoop. Okay. I know you're probably thinking, well, but Smokey can get stuck or this or that. Look, the only thing that can get in there is the goats and the chickens. And she leaves the goats and the chickens alone now. Ain't that right? You feel really bad about it, don't you? I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody knows the chickens are mean. I like it for now. Those boards are not permanently there but they're enough to deter a goat because they can't see through them. And as far as jumping from here to there, those swinging extra things that I've cut off of random cattle panels, because this isn't attached yet, and it won't be. We can still slip through there. It's going to work. It's going to work. Use what you got. You know, I can run to the store. I can buy all new stuff. I can do whatever I want. When you got a giant trash pile, a bunch of extra cattle panels, a beautiful gate. Why? So I think what I like about this gate too, if this ends up working or end up mounting it, I'll just have this gate here because the goats can hop right through the gate and no offense, but you ain't getting, you. <laughs> all right, I couldn't do it either. So I like it. I may actually fix that gate. I don't know. The problem is if I hook the gate to that pole, the gate's 12 feet long and this is only 10 feet wide. So we'll have like two feet of overhang. But it doesn't matter. I mean, what's a little overhang? I just hate to have this gate sitting over there in the corner. It's bothered me for a very long time. So, it's so pretty. I bought this before Tartar ever knew who I was. Okay? I like it. I like it a lot. Here's the one thing. If you own goats, and you spend an hour and 15 minutes on something like I did here, you're fully aware. I missed something the goats are still going to find a way to get somewhere that I don't want. The only thing I really don't want them to do is go into the chicken coop, which I know they can slip through that door. At least they can slip in, they can slip out. I just hope they get out before sunset. I got a feeling Magneto would run them out of there. So. I hope she stays there and sleeps. She's really tired. Batman and Robin are, they're wearing out trails through the land. So she knows kind of where they're at and where they're safe. So anyway, let's take a walk to the reason you guys clicked on this video. To the north of my land, to the north of my little farm, to the north of mom and dad, the beautiful view you guys see, usually at the beginning of my videos. I'm almost through the woods to mom and dad's house show you what I'm talking about. If you're new here, this is your first video. Here's 10 seconds. I lease four acres. It butts up to next to my parents, five acres. I've got two steers among other animals on the farm. All of that right out there that you guys see at the beginning of my videos. The man that owns that lives out here. And I said, hey, are you gonna be haying, haying? your field this year. And he said, no. He said, actually last year I hired somebody to hay it and they never did. And he said, it's just not clear enough for them. There's a lot of trees. I said, 
he said there's a lot of trees. There's a lot of trees for somebody that wants to hay a field. There's a lot of brush, a lot of things you got to turn around. And the trees have a lot of growth around them. So if you're going to hay it, a lot of turns. And guys that hay, guys and gals that hay fields, they don't want to make a bunch of turns. They will if they have to if it's all they got, but there's a lot of land around here to hay. He couldn't get anybody to hay it, so it just grew and grew and grew and grew until it finally died. So last night I saw him, what are you going to do with that field out there? And he goes, I don't know. And he raises animals. He's got chickens. I think there might be some ducks down there. I'm not sure. But he said, there's, a lot of, there's an awful lot to eat out there, ain't there? And I said, you're right, there is. And I said, I'd love to turn my steers out. I'll clean it. I'll take care of it. I'll fence it. I won't do anything permanent because it's actually going to go to some of his family members one of these days. But that'll be way before, or that'll be way after the beefy boys are no longer out there. I crossed my fingers. I went home. He said he'd call me. Wasn't an hour later, he called. There's 10 acres. <laughs> There's 10 acres. Do what you want with it. I said, I can't, you know, I may only use a couple acres. And he said, hey, the more they eat, the less it grows, the less we got to worry about. And I said, perfect. And I said, well, I'll put them back up at night. And he said, hey, if you put them up at night, great. They can stay the night over there. It don't matter. And he didn't even ask for anything. And I said, man, I got to give you something. And he goes, well, he goes, how many turkeys you got? And I said, well, there's... <laughs> There's four dozen in the incubator. My goodness. And I said, you want some? And he said, absolutely. I got one turkey, I'll give him right now. He and his boy would like a breeding pair or two out of our hatchlings, pullets. He doesn't want them as chicks. He wants them as, you know, grown, not grown turkeys, but we want to be able to gender them before he gets them. So he makes sure he gets a breeding pair. Anyway, I'll raise him to that point and he can have quite a few. I told him I'd kick him some steaks. Once the beefy boys are in freezer camp, and he said, sounds good, no worries at all. So now comes the task of fencing. See that gravel road out there? I've got from this gravel road to that gravel road. How cool is that? 10 acres. I wanna do this pretty quick because one of the reasons that cows, steers, bulls, heifers, whatever, one of the reasons they test your fence is because there's not enough food for them to eat. So you got to give them enough grain, enough hay to keep them entertained and full, or they're going to test your fence. Now, the other obvious reason is a bull's going to run for a heifer. So that's just how it is. But mine are testing it because they're running out of food or what they consider food. They have hay, but they want that fresh grass. They can smell it on the other side of the fence and I'm having to fix it. It's getting windy. I reached out to a couple of companies and I haven't heard back yet, but what I'm gonna do, at least for starters, is tie off an acre or two, okay? And I'm just gonna move them from paddock to paddock. Not not trying to rotationally graze, none of that stuff. I, I'm into that, but I'm not sold on it. I don't know that it's absolutely necessary. If it works for you, it works for you. It's great, sounds good. I just wanna give them another acre to eat. I wanna be able to move them to another acre. I've got a 10, I've got 10 acres. Now I did reach out to a couple of friends that use this stuff. Here's some poly wire. And the company that makes this, I called you, call me back. You're in Missouri, come down and visit. I'll string up that whole 10 acres if you guys come visit and I'll put more steers out there and we'll show you guys off and make you famous. There's poly wire, there's poly rope, and there's poly tape. The only thing I've heard about the tape is it tends to blow in the wind and we get really high winds here. So I wanna make sure whatever, so I wanna make sure whatever we put out there is gonna stay in place. Uh, as far as getting them across the road, I'll show you that in a minute. We're just gonna hook up a couple of lanes and we'll run them into one pasture. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. But let's go take a ride over there. That'll help explain what's going on. All right, my four wheeler's dead. So we got it on the charger. Let's take dad's. This thing needed, it needed the cobwebs blowing out of it anyway, right? So there was some hunting that was going on out here. You can see that's actually a, that's actually a faux bale. See the little windows? 
zoom in, it'll be blurry. But that's a fake deer blind, or that's a deer blind. But there were some salt licks out here. And basically when the deer eat that salt lick down, it kind of makes a hole. So you gotta be real careful where you're driving. means they approve. I just, I just talked with them. We're good to go. Let's string it up. Hope you guys can hear me. I know it's windy. What I'll probably do is actually string it up and leave out these little brush piles. I'm going to be probably 30 or 40 feet off the road. And you might be like, that's silly. Da, da, da. I just got 10 acres guys and I'm leasing it. Okay. I don't need 10 acres. I got two beefy boys. Okay. If I get more, we'll go from there. But we'll start with like an acre at a time, maybe two acres, and just turn them loose and let them go crazy. Evening, Chad, Adler Farms. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that before. So I came out to do a little bit of evening maintenance and check around a little bit, check on a few things. I kind of left you guys hanging. The, uh, let's see, where'd I leave you at? Oh, the FedEx guy pulled up. Hey, sugar. There's your treat. There's your treat. Mm hmm. Good girl, good girl. If you don't, go to lead it, so you gotta chew it. The FedEx man brought me something pretty sweet, like really sweet. So we'll definitely be taking a look at that. Not today though, not today. Now, if you follow me on social media, just saying, you'll probably get a preview of what Mr. FedEx man delivered. Hi, Smokey. Hi, Smokey. Hey, you're showing everybody my legs. My sweet shoes. You know what? If you don't have Crocs, you ain't, you ain't farming. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? Sunset's as pretty as the sunrise out here. At least I think so, anyway. Let's collect some eggs, and then we'll talk about that property over there. A little bit more in depth. So... Yeah, there's the chicken eggs. Hey, you want you want another egg? I'll get you one. Let's go put it in your bucket. Jeez, Nancy. Sorry if your name's Nancy. These guys are actually why I'm out here. Twice. Let me show you what they're doing. So I'm not a professional barbed wire, but I did string up this barbed wire. I don't know about you guys, but that looks a little stressed. See that? So that's the reason that we, we got to move them. Definitely, definitely, definitely got to move them. And it's just part of it. I knew it was coming. Uh, I had several options. If you're new here, like when we had a oh, thousand to 
help me out, maybe four and a half, five thousand 5,000 subscribers. The beefy boys were at a friend's place. Two, two and a half acre pastures. But the problem was it's about 30 minutes away. As these boys started getting bigger, oh, I better feed the, hey, I gotta feed the pigs because that's not nice. You shouldn't feed the steers and then not feed the pigs. So the rabbits are good. In case you guys didn't know, rabbits only need, did you see a bug trying to attack me? Rabbits only need about a cup of food a day. So that's all they get. But we'll go ahead and feed, especially, especially uh, Mama Lola. She's gotta be pregnant. Look at that belly. I've never seen it hang that low. I mean, it's been, it's been a year because last year she had babies on the 4th of July. So what's up, buddy? What y'all doing? Hey, aren't you a party of four? Where's your, oh, there she is. By the way, there's kids in the neighborhood. They're playing. So if you hear anybody yelling, everybody's okay. It's the beefy boys. They're really stretching this fence and they're really pressing it and testing it. We got to get them some room ASAP so for the next two or three nights. I've been doubling up their feed, the uh, cattle cues to be exact. Look at Goof Troop. I'll tell your sidekick, he's weird. I like that. That's really handy. That's really handy. I like it. Y'all are so strange. She's like, don't leave me with those goats. Do you hear them? All they do is yell. Yeah, that sounds like Batman. He's going, smoke a, smoke a. I am super excited. Super, super, super excited about that 10 acres over there. We're gonna start with probably two acres at a time, turn them loose, see how it goes. And I'll buy some more wire and string up another two acres. That way they can continually move. And not, like I said, I'm not super big on rotational grazing, I get it but I got 10 acres and two steers. And as you saw on that four-wheeler ride, it's pretty hilly over there. And I wanna make sure we don't have any holes that the cows could step in and bust a leg. Cause man, that's the last thing I need is one of them to get hurt this close to being food. By the way, is that dogwood? I think it is. Yeah. Absolutely. We need to clean that up because that's on mom and dad's property. So we need to clean that up around there. That'd be really pretty. I know it's a dogwood. Grandpa told me it was earlier. <laughs> so, and I recognize it. With that said, you know what's coming. Y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't make it weird. God bless. Absolutely. God bless. Deuces. See y'all.